Hi everyone, I'm Kelsey and welcome back to my channel, Connecting with Spirit. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing an energy forecast for the week. So that's the week from uh, Monday the 4th of November till about the 10th, 11th of November uh, 2024. So I'm just going to connect into the energy and channel and just see what we all need to know uh, about the energy for the week. So I'm going to ask my healing team of light just to connect me into the energy of the week. Connect me into the energy of the week. Connect me into the energy of the week, please. Thank you. And I'm just going to ask what we need to know for the week. So the first thing that is coming to me is that uh, I'm just hearing the word uh, solar activity. So uh, there might be increased solar activity this week, uh, like solar flares. <clears throat> I'm also hearing geomagnetic storms, these sorts of things. And they can um, have an effect on yourself. When the sun flares in particular, um, it can cause uh, certain symptoms. Personally, I usually feel really drained <laughs> if there's a solar flare uh, incoming. Um, my energy levels will just go way down. I'll feel really tired and lethargic. Uh, it just really depends on you and what way you in, you um, your energy absorbs the solar energy. Um, so there could be other uh, symptoms. I'm hearing aches and pains as well coming up. Uh, ascension flu for a few of you, uh, which is just looks like the normal flu, but it's to do with the ascension and it's basically your body having a clear out. It's a detox for your body. So headaches, the aches and pains. Um, you might even have fever or hot flashes and just feeling really fatigued. Uh, also some sinus sort of stuff, uh, coughing, sore throat sort of things as well coming up um all to do with uh the solar flares um because the when the sun flares it does emit high energy high frequency energy um which does have an effect on you on your system as an energetic being and sometimes when you receive that energy it takes you some time to integrate that high frequency energy and your body needs to adjust and uh, when the symptoms comes up sometimes it's about your body detoxing other times it's about um, an emotional uh, detox as well kind of like where you need to have a look at the emotions uh, that might be uh, the cause of physical symptoms. So there could be one or the other. Um, and if you're not sure what's going on, <laughs> do tune into yourself, into your heart, your higher self, and ask yourself the question if, if it is an, an ascension symptom, a detox, or if there's something that you need to get to the bottom of emotionally. Um, so yeah, very important to check in with yourself this week and also to um, check in with yourself in relation to supporting yourself uh, when these solar flares occur, just to check in and see what's the best things that you can do for yourself, whether it's drinking water to just help your body detox, um, sitting beside a body of water or having a shower, bath, Epsom salts, these sorts of things, just to help your body uh, detox when it needs to, physically and also energetically. Um, or uh, getting out into nature, grounding bare feet on the ground, all these sorts of things. So it's important to just check in with your body and see uh, what it needs at this time. Thank you. Okay, so the other message that's coming in is about sovereignty. So I don't know if you've checked out my uh, November energy forecast video. This is one of the themes for November is the energy of sovereignty. And what that really means is, is that you are uh, becoming aware or stepping more into that energy of sovereignty, which is uh, where you know that you are your own authority, that you know what's best for you, you know you um, the best. <laughs> no one else knows you better than you do. 
and it's just uh, really becoming aware of that and also stepping into that more so so that when you're making decisions that you always come back to yourself and you check in with yourself and you know you ask yourself you know what's best for me because I am a sovereign being and I am the only one who knows what's best for me so it seems like um, I'm hearing the word activation so for some of you, you might be receiving some activations this week in relation to sovereignty um, to to be sovereign I'm not sure too sure how that's going to come about um, but I am hearing that word uh, it also could also come in with the uh, solar uh, flares because the solar flares the sun energy is very much to do with your solar plexus and would be linked in with the sovereignty energy um, so yeah that's another message coming in thank you Okay, so another message <laughs> that was also came up in the November energy forecast is uh, the rainbow uh, to do with unity. Um, I always associate the rainbow with, uh, yeah, the energy of unity. So this could be, or unions, so this could be coming into unity or union with yourself or uh, someone else. So we are close to the 1111 portal, which is a twin flame number. It's a twin flame portal. The energy is very associated with uh, twin flames. And sovereignty is what I'm hearing as well. Um, so uh, for some of you, you might be getting close to a union or a reunion with your twin flame. Um, but it could also be with uh, friends I'm hearing, like um, your soul tribe, your soul family, uh, as well as soul mates. So it just really depends on where you are at. But what it feels like is that there is the energy of union here this week um, that will help you to reunite with yourself, twin flames, um, soul mates, friends, or your soul family. So that's super exciting. Thank you. And the other thing I'm hearing is about burdens. So usually carrying burdens on the shoulders, like you're carrying the weight of the world on the shoulders. Uh, something to do with burdens might come up for you this week um, in relation to shadow work. Uh, so just going into that energy, if you're feeling it, or um, it might even come into your mind, uh, just feeling burdened by something that's going on in your life right now. Um, and just the message from spirit right now is to sit with that, to sit with that energy of feeling burdened and go in with it, go into it and process it. Ask yourself questions like, what is it that I'm feeling? Why do I feel burdened? Why am I feeling this way? I'm also feeling like this burden, um, it might be something to do with your present life but it could also have connections in with past lives, uh, parallel lives, or even be a burden that you're carrying from your ancestral lineage as well. Um, so it's looking like just getting into the root of what that burden is so you can clear it and release it and bring in healing. And also to ask your healing team of light for support. Um, if you are carrying that weight on your shoulders, um, if you have a burden that you're carrying by yourself to ask them for support to help you carry it. Is it just feeling, is feeling really heavy and it's weighing you down? Um, also hearing about asking your team, but also to seek support in relation to this burden, whatever it might be. Um, if there is a trusted family member, friend, uh, doctor, counselor, healer, spiritual teacher, psychiatrist, whoever it is that you need to talk to, or whoever it is that you feel that you can trust and is safe for you to open up about this burden, to seek support in that way as well, because um, it'll help. It's almost like I'm seeing them being able to carry the load with you, like you, you share your burden and then it's like halved and there's someone else that's supporting you to carry this burden as well so that seems to be another message that's coming true about burdens thank you
okay, <laughs> and I was talking about sovereignty and self-sovereignty and activations, and I just have Hanuman here, who is a Hindu god. Um, he actually carries, um, it's like a, a mace uh, or a club in his hand, and that's a symbol of self-sovereignty. So I am going to channel a light language transmission, which is actually going to be <laughs> the activation for self-sovereignty that I was talking about. Uh, so if you would like to receive this, uh, please do give your permission in whatever way feels comfortable for you. If you don't and you just want to listen, I just say no, um, and then you won't receive the energy that I'm going to transmit. And all you need to do is get comfortable sitting up or uh, lying down eyes open or closed whatever feels most comfortable and breathe and receive this light language transmission When you're ready, I'm going to invite you on <laughs> my throat <laughs> to take three deep breaths in through your nose and out through your mouth, just to ensure that you're fully embodied and fully grounded. Okay, so just hearing that <laughs> you might feel this activation in your throat chakra and also in your solar plexus uh, for self-sovereignty. And if your throat is croaky like mine, it's about your throat chakra is opening um, to allow you to uh, speak and advocate for your own sovereignty. Uh, this sorts of sort of energy uh, so you might experience some sort of symptoms like this if your throat is going a bit weird uh, after this transmission uh, do know it's just the throat chakra and the solar plexus chakra opening and um, uh, it should settle down soon uh, you might need some time to just lie down and let this energy integrate as well um, Yep, so do check in with yourself and take whatever time you need after this um, 
energy healing and I'm just going to close us down now. I'm just going to ask, thank Hanuman first and ask Archangel Michael just to disconnect me, disconnect me, disconnect me from all those souls that have received this transmission and to pull out any and all cords that have made, made that have been formed as a result of this energy healing to transmute them with the violet flame and heal and repair all the areas where you've pulled out these cords, please, Michael. If there's any excess energy, just to bring it down through their chakras and send it into the earth, into Gaia. Excuse me, to be grounded so there is some clearing happening as well. Just going to ask that everybody is balanced, harmonized, stabilized, recalibrated and realigned to all levels, layers, bodies, fields and systems of themselves. And that the aura is zipped up zip up their aura, zip up their aura so they feel strong, safe and secure within their energy field and anything that was open, close it down now please as a result of that healing transmission anything that was open, close it down anything that was open, close it down now please Okay, <laughs> so that concludes this energy forecast for the week. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you haven't already, do check out my energy forecast for November. It's really interesting and it's similar energies in relation to unity and sovereignty. Um, but a few other messages in the November uh, broadcast as well as another light language transmission as well seems to be a theme. But yeah, do let me know how you got on if you resonated with these messages by leaving me a comment below and until next time thank you so much for being here for tuning in take care bye bye